hi guys it's nice to be here again and today i'll be telling you guys about some of the culture shocks i've experienced in the uk it might be a difference in slangs languages or way of life and this particular topic is inspired by Tammy. she was like okay can you do a video about culture shocks and all of that so yeah let's get to it i remember the day somebody bumped into me in the train and she just started apologizing and all of that and i'm sorry i'm sorry and at the other end i was so tired like i was knocked out and i knew it was a mistake so i didn't say anything i just like just nodded my head and i went to sit down and she came to me and she was like are you mad i looked at her with shock and i'm like you literally bumped into me and you're still asking if i'm mad like how does that work and she went like yes because i apologize and you didn't say anything so are you mad and i'm like why does she keep saying if i'm mad to so cut the long story short guys when they ask you are you mad it means like are you angry like are you angry that was what that that meant so yeah i know that culture shock guys tell me why these people refer to lunch as dinner and they refer to dinner as tea i mean is that really really necessary like why are we trying to complicate lives for ourselves and to even think uh their supposed dinner that's meant to be lunch starts at 12 noon that's barely half of the day fam like why why do they keep referring to um lunch as dinner then you you hear um dinner um uh, they're called dinner tea they'll be like um would you mind joining me for tea they're inviting me for dinner <laughs> another one right and this one really kind of get me angry tell me why i see you with a very cute baby and you're all chatty you're so like you're you're trying to chat and you're trying to mingle and i go like how old is your kid and you're telling me 34 weeks so what am i supposed to do like if not that you are a criminal why would you do something like that 34 weeks then i will not carry calculator then try to calculate how many months or how many years the baby is or because i don't really understand i'm not even good at maths for crying out loud another one is when you're asking for time to be like half past three half past three or some even tell you half three is it 3 30 or one one i don't know i don't know i don't know but now i think i've really um gotten used to you know hearing all those kind of stuff half past three 15 quarter quarter what i've sure gotten used to that another culture shock imagine you falling down or you're in a very severe pain or probably you just missed your boss then i tell you sorry like oh sorry then you go like nah don't be sorry it's not your fault yo i know it's not my fault and it can never be my fault i'm just nigerian it got to a point i really had to sit my friends down and explain to them that i am nigerian i am from nigeria and we say sorry like for everything for virtually everything we say sorry if you are passing by somebody or they are blocking your way you have to be like sorry excuse me or maybe you're asking for directions or you're asking questions or anything like that you just have to say sorry because everyone is angry by default and you can call it decking anytime if you're not guided so when i first got my job in the uk here i go to work every morning and uh, tell everybody good morning good morning then it took me some few days to realize no one actually say good morning or something like that they'd rather say you okay you all right and in my mind was all this bad to real long like to even think you okay you all right sounds like shag bad like i don't know also when a british look at you and um, go like you all right they are not necessarily trying to know if you're all right or or not 
they're just trying to make you know they acknowledge your presence and you are right you're okay is not really a question like is like a rhetorical question you are not meant to actually be like yes i'm okay or not you just tell them back you're right like they tell you you're right and you tell them to you're right like is that not crazy <laughs> then maybe you're new and they tell you you're right and then you'll be like oh yeah i'm fine this week has I've, I've been so um boring or i've been so busy they look at you like is she really okay like you're not really meant to answer just tell them back you're right and that way you could tell each other another one you know the first um that's a shame mm -hmm. made me angry like made me really angry one day so i was my friend and i was telling him about how i missed my train like i was like five seconds close to this train and i missed it because i was really running yeah i was running and i still missed it and on top of that i fell and injured myself and the train still left me and all of those i was i was being so sad and bitter about it and the next thing i heard was that's a shame i looked at him and went like shame on woo with a very angry face he looked puzzled for some minutes then he went like it's a shame you couldn't catch the train then i went again shame on who so basically it's a shame means that's unfortunate or it's a pity but i would rather you say uh that's a pity than that's a shame <laughs> i'm too nigerian for that it, it sounds like oh more shame on you so i don't want to hear that just say it's a pity than that's a shame shame on who another cultural shock i'm experiencing right now in the uk is paying for tv license hear me out you buy TV with your hard-earned money, let's say £500. You bring that TV home, set that TV up, but you can't watch anything on that TV you bought with your money unless you pay for TV license. I mean, nobody bought the TV for you or anything. It wasn't a gift from the government. It was, a, it was nothing. You bought that TV with your own money, but you can't watch anything on it till you pay for TV license. They literally use silly things to take money from you in this country. Same goes for paying um, road tax if you own a car. Like pay, I don't know, I don't know, but they just take money from you in in, in silly ways. Like in, I don't know, I'm so dumbfounded. Another one, guys, they drink tap water here. <laughs> like you take your cup, go to that tap, the same tap everyone knows then you take water directly from the tap to your cup then boom i'm going straight to your mouth yes shocking right i know they drink tap water here there are bottle water and everything yeah but most people here drink tap water i think that's why when people move to the uk for the first time they have breakage on their face or anything it might be the water but that that was really shocking to me when I came here and I realized, yo, you've got to drink tap water. It's not really necessary, but everyone does that. So I was like, why not? So right now, I'm the queen of drinking tap water. Another one, you know, all those panties we ladies wear. Yeah, yeah, normal pants. They're calling knickers here. Yeah, they're calling. My, my beloved British people call it knickers. Like, what is knickers for crying out loud? Like, how does that even fit right to them in nigeria i can wear what we call knickers to a grocery store to a mall to literally anywhere and it's normal but if you tell a british person you wear knicker out of your house or you go to a store with it or something here they'll just call a mental facility for you because to them knickers are panties um this one really always get me mad really really get me angry like imagine going to the grocery store to get stuff see no matter how, how much you spend in that store if you like spend 100 pounds spend 200 pounds they will still tell you to buy a shopping bag like they'll tell you to buy a shopping bag i don't care 
if those bags are as cheap as 30 pence but they'll tell you to buy a shopping bag so i'm buying stuff worth of 100 pounds am i meant to like take it on my head or i don't know how do you want to get them home if i don't buy a bag that's it you must buy a bag and this bag are all this nylons i don't know all these nylons we take to the market they're like 20p 30p everyone buys bag here i know they all be like this single act encourages the use of bags so there are not too many trash and you know it encourages reuse and this saves our planet or whatever makes them sleep at night but do i still care no we should not be buying shopping bags the next one is taking smoking breaks at work <laughs> people that don't smoke before yeah if they come here and they start smoking i honestly do not do not blame them because people take um smoking breaks like you can tell your manager you're going for smoking break and that's it and you that you are not smoking you are there doing all the job why people are there taking smoking break what what is a smoking break like what yo the next one guys you will think oh they are so friendly here because you met a random stranger um at the bus stop and she's calling you hi darling hi sweetie they're not re there's nothing attached that's how they are here you just meet somebody on 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 a queue you just tell you hey darling hey sweetie and it's, it's not even as if that that nice they're not really that nice but they just call you sweet names <laughs> me i used to quickly fall in love oh. so nobody should be trying that those things with me i beg another one guys is that here cars are not seen as luxury like they're literally a way of life like they expect you to own cars like your own phones imagine applying for a cleaning job and one of the requirements says you must own a car also expensive cars are everywhere here and no one is making a fuss about it or anything i've personally gotten teslas three different times while ordering for uber and when i first got to the uk the first car to pick me up the first uber i ordered was a benz so it's literally not a big deal here also they barely use their horn you know in nigeria how you use on to greet each other on the road don't try it here another one that got me shocked was that people will literally look at you dead in the eyes i mean you are dressed and acting in the most feminine way ever with your big bum and big boobs and they will, they will still be like what's your gender though they'll, they'll be asking you what gender do you identify as oh jesus i identify as the child of god there was a day my friend was picking me up for dinner i think that was a month after i got here then he texted me it was outside then i got outside recognized his car then i was moving towards the car asked me why i was going for his own door even after he had stood beside the door i meant to take he was like oh are you driving <laughs> i was so ashamed of myself he said i thought you can see me trying to hold the door for you i said i thought you are just like by your own side of the car for me to come out so that we can both get inside together i always forget the um, drive on the left hand side always always but i think i'm i'm used to it now another cultural shock i experienced in the uk is that you might live in your house for years and you might not know your neighbors or people in your neighborhood again uk is a highly individualistic country and everyone stays by themselves all like in nigeria where your neighbor notice you, you just move in and they'll come welcome you and familiarize with you and all sorts of things i strongly believe this is the uh, this is one of the reasons why people slip into depression um, in their early month of relocation because you know people just mind that business another one guys 
I was used to paying rent yearly all my life. I got to the UK and I realized you've got to pay your rent every month. I mean, you're telling me I have to worry about paying my rent every single month? That's literally not fair. It's mentally draining and disturbing, but then I think the reason why it's like that is because um, paying rent yearly might be way too expensive for, for immigrants like us. Imagine paying £12,000 for a yearly rent. That's around um, 14 million in Naira. So I think it's kind of way too expensive. But then I still feel paying rent monthly is way too draining. Before I moved to the UK, I always hear people be like, um, when you get to the UK, try to build your credit scores in case you want to probably take mortgage or you want to buy cars or you want to get anything in trouble. Guys, guess how your credit um, score is being built? By taking credit, by taking things on credit. Imagine you living within your means, not taking anything on credit, just, you know, living on your salary. Credit score would just be like, am I a joke to you? Because it would never come up. But then I still feel they are kind of advantageous because um, sometimes when you don't really have money for things you need, you can't get them, then pay later and all of those. I tell my friends that they are kind of lucky because in Nigeria, if you haven't got any money, you haven't got money. There's nothing like credit or there's nothing like um, uh, benefits and all of those things we have here. My friend was asking me the other day about how to deal with culture shock. But then I told him, I do not think you can actually do your culture shock. Um, so we came up with these two things together. Whenever you find yourself in another country where their way of life is like very different from yours, just do these two things. Number one, just keep an open mind. Be eager to explore and be willing to experience new things. Like, you know, not drinking tap water before and drinking it now. You will not die really you will not die the second one is to adapt to the system as soon as you can um instead of always um thinking about how things are done differently in nigeria just remember you're no longer in nigeria so just adapt as quickly as you can i've actually experienced so many culture shows and uh, these are the few ones i can't remember for now so if you've experienced culture shocks or you're experiencing one please leave a comment in the comment section telling us about it don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel if you've not and i will see you later Bye bye